you know black folks and as you can see the date and the time here basically we're back up looking at space again right now uh, let's go in and see some more footage and basically what we're this is just showing you proof of that there's layers and layers and layers okay and this is somewhat to do with the Van Allen belts here and as you can see that this goes way out past Jupiter so forth and so on uh, it's basically I'll have to get up and get some information and show you the Van Allen belts and basically our solar system that means our Sun our solar system okay and then I can hit play here and you'll see that this object is rotating around the Sun and it's basically moving away from Jupiter and it's going this way and that's not Earth and it's not anything we know of and let me go ahead and bring up a map and pretty much here's the Nats ass on Jupiter with conjunction to the as far as concern to Earth when it's in conjunction with when it's in line uh, and look up the word conjunction okay meeting at the junction but at a line conjunction okay so this is our distance this is where your Nats ass is out there now uh, I should be able to have a map on here hang on a little bit more here before we go down okay so so equilateral radius of Jupiter is 44,423 miles okay so no matter what we distance wise because now we know that this is smaller than Jupiter but it's damn good size and the idea that it is closer to the Sechi satellite we're out in space go to beacon satellite this is NASA's beacon system. This is we're at A, we're at ACE, H1A. And we've been seeing this up there for a while and they don't mark it. It's not Earth. Uh, we'll go to B here, which is the, that ACE is A and B is B. And uh, you never know when we have new people in here that haven't seen what we're talking about here. So let's go see what we got going on at B. Now here's your great red spot visibility and actually there is starting to be looking to look like there's another red spot too. I do believe if you pay attention to what people have been picturing lately that take their cameras out in their telescopes and take shots, okay? And this is of Jupiter. There's your current red spot location. And it's cold on Jupiter because it really doesn't get a lot of the light from the sun. So it's quite cool there. A lot of hydrogen and helium. Central Standard Time down in the corner in his current solar system configuration. That's Central Standard Time or lower right hand corner in the date and time. Okay, Jupiter's way the hell out there so then really we're not supposed to have anything out there. We have Mercury, Venus, Mars. Remember the Sun's right directly in the well. You don't see it but when I pop over here to the blowout that's the Sun right there. Okay. This is blown out from this square here, over here on this map when we look on the left hand side. Then Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto are way the hell out. Then you go to JPL and play around and look and see also. And there really shouldn't be anything and there's something out ahead of Jupiter, i.e. You've seen it when we were at A, so back up, okay? Now we're over at B, we're gonna blow in. So what you do is you back up the footage. You go back in the video a little bit and you go look at the A footage. We probably will pop back over there, but right now we're interested in looking at B and seeing magnetic lines, which we see, because basically we'll go ahead and pop in here and we'll also go back a couple days and see what we see. Now, more than likely what we're seeing when we're sitting over here at B is can be a lot of planets because the idea that we're looking all the way across and as you see those magneticals dance right there, will come up very real fast that so you know that they were still there. I don't ever play any games that we're at what we're, we're at. And then we go up and there's planet way up there. Now also if you blow in real big, I'll go ahead and go 999. There's a lot of illumination that's going on around uh, this upper planet here. And also um, down now, but it'll go across here because uh, we'll pick up on Earth. There's Earth there. So as you can see there are some, you know, and a lot of stuff is bigger than Earth in our solar system, you see, but if it's in our solar system it's got to have this magnetical lines that you see here. Okay, you see Earth's magnetical line here, then you see these other magnetical lines. 
Okay. So there's much more in our solar system. And basically, the factual that you go in the satellites, even if I'm wrong on the name, Voyager 1 and 2, Pioneer, and so forth and so on. Now, I believe only Voyager 1 and 2 are still active, Pioneer, uh, and the other satellites that are way out there, they're looking for the bow shock. They still haven't found the bow shock yet. That means when they are in the area, and they're getting in this, they're actually, they're amazed at how they did some great engineering on making sure the satellites could survive what they would run into out there, okay? They're still getting telemetry back on whichever one I'm not going to misquote of which ones. There's maybe even just one of them left. But they haven't found the bow shock, and the bow shock is when it will penetrate and leave the magnetical attraction of the sun, you see? So even beyond the Van Allen belts, there's even smaller magnetical, and then you're seeing it basically no matter what on the illumination of some planets way the hell out there and it doesn't matter objects in space because I'll blow in on these a little bit more here and then we'll pop back out this is Earth's magnetic line there and then let me blow in here at 999 real fast custom we always do it right in front of your face so that you know that that's what we're doing I'm looking in and I don't know why I always say we this is Beano Black and I'm a lone dog Okay, I'm a lone wolf. And basically, here we go. There you go. And there's illumination of another planet farther back. Okay, below on and then is it is that a moon possibly? Who knows? Of that planet. Okay, now we know that there's 67 moons on Jupiter. That's right. You go look up the information, even the raw data that I gave you that there's 63. There's believed to have up to date now be 67 moons on Jupiter. Okay? And then another planet here illuminated out there. So that means it's getting a magnetical attraction from our sun. Which basically, if anybody's new here, we always have to remember that there's, and believe me, with, uh, anyway, the data is a lie because I don't get any money for advertising from YouTube. So there is some private organization or even, and then there's, the, yes, there's going to be legalities sooner or later because the idea that I don't accept any money for advertising. Okay? Uh, and I love YouTube. Okay, even with the new format, which basically has taken a lot of free speech from people being able to communicate, because this is a telephone call. FCC regulations, this is a telephone call. Okay, doesn't matter. It can be argued out in court. No matter what some organization wants to say, this is going through a phone line, a data line. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's an actual legal fact. That's an actual fact. Okay, and there's no... Social media is a drop word, drop phrase, okay? There's no organization of social media. This is free speech. It's America. This is the internet, okay? So, do you see the magneticals that I've zoomed in on here on? And then we can also, uh, we're going to go back a couple days in dates. This is the sun over here oozing off all of its electrical energy. And yes, space dust, because when the sun does all these CMEs and stuff like that, there's nanoparticles that come off and then we get CMEs that come towards Earth and lately we've had some action. Uh, go to Two Minute News. It saves me a lot of time because basically he just shows the same data that I'd end up showing you. And we're not friends. We're not even anybody. We don't even communicate. We don't even know each other. Okay. And maybe he hates that I send you to his site. I don't give a rat's ass because basically he shown, saves me a lot of data that I have, would have to waste my time showing you about CMEs coming off the sun and hitting our atmosphere and radio communications, telephone communications, so forth and so such. So far, you're the ones, because you're out there in the world, how much interference have you gotten lately because we had a CME hit us early on the 17th UTC time and we're going to have some more stuff coming. I actually might even show some of the CME action from a data sheets coming at us. Okay, so let's go back in some dates a little bit and look at some more magneticals. And no pants went off pretty smoothly, it looks like, again, this year. And I just wanted to show that real fast. And there's their credits because that's their organization. And then let's hit play here. And we'll just pop through here real fast. And basically, everybody has a way to express Welcome themselves in this country. Welcome, uh, There's propaganda being done by FCC regulated channels. And they are just have an opinion, and they're just, uh, and you pay for their opinions, what's crazy. Satellite TV, so forth, so on, however you get TV. And so, basically, it was no pants, subway, dealy bobber, and everybody expressed themselves and did their no pants, that went off pretty good. There seems to be a little bit better activity this year than there was 
uh, or maybe it's, you know, it's everybody's own choice. Face. Eyes open up, people feel, yeah, people can communicate in anyway, many ways. Communication, communication, ladies and gentlemen. Silently, out loud, people can communicate. People pay attention when people start speaking whatever special way that they need to speak to get their point across. Okay? So let's go back out into space. They went off pretty good. Okay? Congratulations to them. Hopefully they'll keep on having no problems uh, getting through it again for years and years and years. Now this is my uh, channel. Basically you'll go back and basically what I was looking is to go back to see what uh, time dates I have on this one here. And then basically also what you understand when we go talk about counts is, and yes, people were kind of trapped for Christmas because you're always stuck with your family, still doing your family things and everything like that. But uh, somebody gave me a little bit of a Christmas present and they took the little uh, control BS off and stuff like that. So to everybody there that the idea that yes, because I've seen it in my data, the idea that uh, my videos get viewed by a lot more people than don't so don't get this this is this is uh, basically illegal uh, manipulation basically there's been proof that there's been uh, record companies screw around and uptick their counts on their videos okay and uh, I don't and but there's falsification of the idea because see I don't accept any money for advertising so they don't want me to be that popular because the idea then basically thousand percent free speech here you see what I'm saying like I say your constitutional rights your religious your everything your guns uphold that and keep the country safer in hell because no matter what if the army stands down the military any branch we could always defend ourselves because we have guns you see so other countries don't like the idea that we have guns we have an unfair advantage well big deal it's a fair advantage because in our country everything's fair and everybody has gun rights and so forth and so on and I'm you know black and I'm pro gun rights so I'm gonna find my date on this video that I made here and then we'll be able to show you some more on these magnetical lines, okay? And then basically what I've got is footage from here that I didn't get a chance to show you. And what's interesting, I don't think I've got it on the right one. I'm going to have to go to A from what the shot that I'm interested in showing you. But uh, also there was some uh, very good evidence here of large objects that are not illuminated, at least in these shots anyhow. And as you can see, that material is out there. And this is what basically is of the same relativity that means related okay to the black spots that we see from the hawaii cam and stuff like that and i'm going to have another video hopefully i'll make to this evening too about uh some stuff basically that you can see from over at the hawaii cam so let's get over on the a shot here i'm on the wrong shot okay it'll pop down real fast so you realize what i'm trying to look at and you're going to see it when we go to it there's elect there's a lots of electrical activity going on over there. So I talked about uh, electromagnetic uh, Van Allen belt action, that it's all this stuff's in the solar system. And they're getting a little perturbed about it, but it's a big deal. It's actual fact. And the actual fact is bow shock, because the fact that the idea that our solar system is larger than what they think, and no matter what, see, Jupiter helps us out with the BS that the idea that this object is within, and the sun's over here, and they don't mark it, and it's there. And it's pretty damn large. It's not as big as Jupiter, and it is closer to the camera than on the satellite then. And on the 9th, then we have this electrical energy that was coming across. Or possibly maybe I have to go ahead and try to get on the 8th, because when I may know, that electrical energy is coming through here. If you slow this down, you can go to Sechi yourself, and you can slow it down, and you'll end up getting some electrical action that's getting up in through here. And as you see somewhat there, and that basically was off the sun, okay? You just have to back that up with the player there. I had it slowed down enough because it came off the sun here and out. So let's go back and look at some magnetical action. I think basically I'm going to try to get the eighth. I'm getting repetitive on the footage, but basically on the tenth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you can even probably count more if you zoom in. And basically, it's just hella relevant that there is magnetical lines here. Bow shock, bow shock, bow shock. Okay? The satellites haven't hit the bow shock yet. The solar system is larger than what 
NASA knows, and they've even admitted it. Okay, go study Boshock, okay, and the satellites that haven't hit Boshock yet, okay? The 